Shalom, Shalom, first and foremost, I want to give all glory, honors, and praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem Rakakwadash, and I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of the great millstone for teaching this truth time and time again, showing to be men, men of the Lord, the water Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, and uh, Kala Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. I'm your brother Thahawam, and I'm just doing this uh, a video, uh, major news prophecy, um, about, because a brother posted something that happened. I have that article too. Let me just post it. Too serious or hurt. It had been uh, several attacks in, uh, in Israel, but like uh, they say Jerusalem synagogue. Israel police say at least seven people were killed. Three were injured in a shooting near the synagogue. On Friday, amid high tension in Israel and the Palestine uh, state, pa I mean Palestine territory, two people were wounded in a separate shooting attack on Saturday in the city of David area of Jerusalem, according to the police ambulance service. The victim, one is hit and another and 40 and 50 were tr in a tr trauma unit at Sheet Zakid Medical Center and Hospital state the shooting suspect was neutralized and at least the 43 of them or the 43 people were um 43 people were um uh 43 people were arrested in that attack so let me get that and then I get to the article what this uh what just happened but You know, the spirit, I just want to get this fun because this is a huh. This is Matthew chapter 24, verse 6. And ye shall hear wars and rumors of wars. See that these do not trouble you, for all this must come to pass. But the end is not yet, for nations shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines, pestilence, earthquakes, and diapers, and all these are the beginning of sorrows. And then shall deliver you from the affliction shall be kill you but that's the point wars rumors of wars uh, uh, uh this is how you know prophecy is as the elders and apostles have said this is uh elder apostle to far to the year hopefully the prophecies be fulfilled sorry started another book again Re reading you know, keep continuously like going over things. This is Matthew. I mean, this is Second Ezra chapter nine, verse one. He answered them then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and now seest the parts of science past which I have told thee before. Then shalt thou understand." It's the very same time with the highest will begin to visit the world which he made, and these wars, up wars of the people. That's what I uh, had. Upwards of the people are happening in Israel. Jesus. This is Matt. This is um. Second Ezra chapter fifteen. For the sword and destruction draw nigh. One people shall stand against another. Those are the Palestinians when they're all fighting in our holy land, uh, which with the, those fucking rats uh, uh, in the Amalekite, and uh, they're fighting against having shooting terrorist attacks and swords in their hand. For it shall be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. Yes, it is going everywhere around the world. From Brazil, from France, from all this stuff, the, uh, uh, people are tired of these government systems and these uh, these draconian laws. So going to the article I was originally, I just brought that that happened two days ago, and then look what happened as a response. Israel, CNN, so can't say that these are not credible units because everyone posted today. Um. Just a few hours ago, Israel was behind a drone attack in a military plant in Iran, U.S. media reported. U.S. media believes the drone attack at a military plant in 
in Iran's central city of Afarhan were carried out by Israel, according to the U.S. media report. Uh, Taram said on Sunday that drones had attacked the plant in Isfahan late the previous evening, calling the operation unsuccessful. The Wall Street Journal and News New York Times report that Israel was behind this attack, citing U.S. officials and people familiar of the operation. That the New York Times cited senior intelligence officers who were familiar with the dialogue between Israel and the United States about the incident, now the officials were named. CNA has not independently confirmed the in information, and it almost like New York Times and all that are putting these things, uh, saying that Israel was uh, responsible. And U.S. Department of Defense spokesman told CNN that the U.S. has not conducted strikes or operations inside Iran. We see press but can confirm that no U.S. military forces conducted strikes in the operation inside Iran. We continue to monitor the situation, but more further to provide, the spokesman said, Iran's defense ministry has not publicly offered any information about the carried attack. So it's just speculation and all that stuff, but U.S. is an ally of it, so uh, of Israel. And we already know that Israel, first through prophecy, uh, they had a, not prophecy, through their little thing, they said they, they needed these seven countries that needed to be taken over to have their power, their control on that nation. And Iran's one of them, which Iran is an ally to Russia and the BRICS nations. But <clears throat> this is not too far-fetched because look at this. This is a... Because this is the start of something. This is a, a World War II. All nations are getting ready. This is Jeremiah chapter 49, verse 20. Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord. He has taken against Edom, and this empire turned into end time. The Edomites will be in control of the power, and that's their central hub, their, uh, Israel. That's, that's, that's the, the, um, the top of Edom. And the Lord has taken a counsel against them and his purpose, that he have purpose against the inhabitants of Teman, I mean, I mean, which is the, the, the that's the, uh, usually they're the Germans, but the, these are, uh, that's a, a nation in Edom. Surely the lease of the flock shall draw them out. Surely shall he make the inhabitants desolate with them. Having Israel be in this head, a order to cause this war and the new world order going into them because that's their chief, uh, that's the chief, uh, uh, chief nation of uh, Edom, and the earth will be moved at the great noise because this is the start of World War Two, I mean World War Three, which is going to be fought with nuclear uh, missiles, their nuclear capability, and at the cry noise therefore heard in the Red Sea, behold, he shall come and fly as an eagle and spread his wings over Basra which is the, the capital of Edom back in the ancient times. And at that day shall the heart of mighty man of Edom be as a woman, I mean, as a heart of a woman in, in labor, uh, in pain, which is just to be crying. It's another scripture. This is, behold, this is Jeremiah chapter 50. Behold, he come up like a lion swollen in Jordan. If you understand, if you uh, started, this is how, this is how it, um, this is, uh, Jordan is uh, by Israel, but this, this is how the, the last chapter went. Uh, they were just talking about after the war, before the scripture, uh, you know, I mean, like how Babylon, I me, mean, uh, how Edom was going to be destroyed, nuclear capabilities. And then this is another one, a precept to it. Um. I'm going to just drop down to 45. Therefore, hear ye the counsel of the Lord, that he is against Babylon, Babylon the Great, which is uh, who's who ahead of it. it it's, uh, that, that's the uh, Babylon, uh, Babylon, and it's not bad, but Babylon the Great 
is uh, America and Israel is ahead of America. That's the chief house. That he has purpose against the land of the Chaldeans, which is also, uh, those are Hamites, but they, they are liken the, these how uh, the, the, these ma magicians and among these warlocks as the, uh, the new Chaldeans in a Babylon. The least of the flock shall draw them out. Surely him shall make the inhabitants desolate with them. And at the great noise taken, Babylon, earth is moved, and the cries heard among many nations. So this is the start. Because what do you think is a Israel? I mean, Iran is a ally, ally to Israel. I mean, uh, to uh, uh, Russia, which is God. And so you think that that's just going to go without? Uh, though they're trying to build a new system and call it the brick. And they're just going to uh, uh, let that happen. The Lord put a mighty spirit on uh, uh, on the Russia. This is Ezekiel chapter 38, verse 4. And I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. And I will bring... The fourth in all thy armies and horsemen, me horses and horsemen, and all those clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, and all of the handling of swords, Persia, which is Iran, Ethiopia, and Libya, which is kind of crazy, and all of them with shields and helmets. Gomer and all his bands and uh, Tomangog and all his bands, which is uh, the areas in like Turkey in that place, in that area, like Asia Minor, and all his bands and many people were thee. Be thou prepared and pre prepare for thyself. And you see in that uh, Russia is uh, talking a lot of uh, 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 strikes and telling, yeah, man, or uh, their nuclear capabilities and their, the willingness of the users. So they're prepare thyself and all that companies assemble with thee, which is Iran is assembly and I and be thou a guard unto them. So you think the, the Lord put the spirit on uh, Gog and Magog to do put that in that spirit, that spirit, there are those Russians to be a guard on them. So this attack is uh, Basically, an act of war. That's why the least of the flock shall bring them. That's an act of war. And after many days, thou shalt be visited in the latter years. Well, this is going obvious, but that's the point. So the, the, the Lord is putting the, the, that war spirit on all these nations. And the least of the flock is... This is Joel chapter 3, verse 2. And I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Which is in that area, Yahweh shall pot, Yahweh shall judge. I mean, will plead with them, uh, with them for many pe for my people and for my Herod's Israel, and not the those people in the land. He's talking about because uh, Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. He's talking about this the so called blacks, so called Latinos, and so called Native Americans. Whom they have scattered among nations. See, that's it, scattered. That's the point. And parted my lands. So those Palestinian, Palestinians and those uh, uh, those rats in the nations, they parted their land. And now terrorists are cats and finding them. And now it's just a complete war in that area. And they have casted lots for my people and given a boy for a harlot and sold a girl for wine that they might drink. Putting us in slavery, uh, like what, what's it called, uh, the, the Saudis and all those uh, uh, Ishmael nations and the African, they were selling it for muskets, wine, and uh, and gunpowder. I mean, or stuff like that. And um, doing all sorts of just crazy things and selling us for just their pleasure. But just drop down. This is a lot in here. I'm gonna drop down to verse nine. This is verse nine. Proclaim ye 
Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let the men of war draw nigh, and let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords, and your pruning hooks into spears. Let the wheat say, I am strong. So I read, and all that stuff is saying, they're all tired of this stuff. All these nations are tired of it. So they're turning. So it was probably an attacking uh, facility. It was probably something that had to do with... Uh, nuclear capability these are all speculations on these weapons but it had to do something because uh, all these nations including north korea and all this stuff were getting ready for these these weapons these weapons to be for i'm gonna end off let me see i'm gonna get this first i might end off after this let me see this is isaiah chapter 13 verse 17 Behold, I will stir up the meats against them, which shall not regard silver, and as for gold, they shall delight in it. Their bowls shall also dash the young men to pieces, and they shall have no pity on the fruit of their womb. And this is when they come to on these wars, on these girl troops, and all these people. They're gonna, they're not gonna care. You're not gonna be able to bribe them. They're gonna come, and they're gonna be mad with the Lord, uh, spirit the Lord put on them to. Plow, bust these uh wicked women and all these proud people and causes war and especially against Babylon and Greek which is going to be jumped by all the nations and uh get all these nuclear uh bombs destroying them this is all this is what this is this is what is going to happen man my bad I was trying to get uh, uh that's what it is that's why I'm end off Salakia the wrong scripture but this is the scripture this is isaiah chapter 9 verse 5 for every battle the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire so this is why this war is going to be it's going to be it's going to be bad bombs nuclear bombs and at the end everything's going to be destroyed in babylon the great and it's going to be just left for uh, doleful creatures and unclean beasts who's going to be completely nuked and then in that whole uh, in the holy land where it is they're going to be nuked and then we're going to come down and get all that defiled disgusting Amalekite shit out of it so with that i want to give all glory honors and praises to yahweh bahashim yahushai bahashim rakakwadash the wadi yahweh bahashim yahushai and shalom